morning. This is your final video project for English. Uh, and this is going to be a part of your exam. So this video project that you will finish by Sunday is just part one of your exam. And then on Monday we're going to do part two. So part two is on Zoom. But part one of your exam is this. And I'm going to explain everything. So maybe you recognize uh, part of this word, which is biography. We have talked about biographies so, so much this year. Uh, and uh, we know by now that a biography is when you talk about somebody's life. An autobiography is when you talk about your own life. So this is your chance to tell us everything about yourself uh, and of course the most interesting subject in the world is always ourselves i really hope to see uh, some interesting videos now when we do an autobiography we have to think about three things uh, the past the present and the future so you're not very, very old. <laughs> I'm not sure you have a very long history. But anyways, I want to hear about it. So part one is about the past. Now, uh, in part one, you're going to tell me about where you were born, when you were born, uh, some of the things maybe that you've done in your life, what schools you've gone to, maybe some hobbies that you started when you were younger, and I also would like to hear details about your family. So maybe when you were born you already had brothers and sisters, or maybe you're the oldest child and your brothers and sisters were born later. So I'd love to hear about that, uh, and also maybe some information about your parents. So this is about the past. Now you are uh, nine, I think mo so most of you might be ten years old already. So, uh, and I know that some things have happened in your life. I would like to hear about them. Okay, let's look at part two. The present. So, when you're talking about the present, I want to know who you are now. What makes you you? So some information that you uh, can give me is, could be about um, what you're good at, what your talents are, what do your friends like about you, what does your family love about you? Maybe what do you do that drives your family and your parents crazy? Uh, you can tell me maybe what you're scared of, something maybe that you're embarrassed about. Uh, what are your favorite things to do? So all the information that you know about yourself, I'd like you to share that with me. Uh, okay, finally. Part three is about part three is about the future. Of course we can't know the future. We never know the future. But we can think about it and usually this is something that we dream about. Um, you may think that I'm very, very old, and probably that's true, but I still dream about the future. So, what types of things can you think about from your future? You can think about where you want to go from university. What do you want to study? Uh, after university, what kind of job do you want to have? Where would you like to live? Maybe you would like to have a family, have children, 
tell me all about that. Um, and for the future, we often ask ourselves, where do I want to be in 10 years? Where do I want to be in 50 years? These are all interesting questions uh, that I would like to hear the answers to. So, these are three parts to this autobiography. I'm going to put some of these uh, helpful questions uh, on the assignment on Google Classrooms. However, you don't need to use my questions. They're just there to help you. If you have your own ideas about your autobiography, please use your own ideas. I want you to be creative and I want you to decide what's most important to share. So remember, this is just to help. It's not uh, absolutely necessary. Now, the other thing is that this is going to be a video presentation. And because you're talking about yourself and you know yourself very well, I hope, it's not something that you're going to need to read from or read about. So I don't want to see you doing this. Uh, and the other thing I don't want, you don't need to <laughs> present these questions in the video. So, when was I born? I was born in 2010. Where was I born? I was born in Tashkent. Just present the information. Tell me all about yourself. Exactly like we did in class with uh, our poster project uh, for our historical discoverers. So, uh, this video needs to be finished by Sunday night. Okay. This video should be a minimum of four minutes. Maybe maximum of eight minutes. I don't want any 45 minute documentaries. Uh, and if you have any questions, of course, I'm here to answer your questions, but I hope it's clear. Uh, if you feel confident, you can go ahead and get started right now. If you still don't understand, I'm going to do an example for you right now. Okay, so this is my autobiography. Miss Jen. <laughs> I was born in the year in room 4. And I was born in Canada, uh, so I grew up speaking English and French, but um, nobody is very interested in French in Uzbekistan, so let's forget about French. Um, my parents were teachers and also my father was a journalist and a photographer. Uh, I was born two years after my sister. Uh, and she is now a doctor. She still lives in Canada. Uh, so right now I live in Tashkent in Uzbekistan and I'm a teacher. I teach at uh, Tashkent Rubek International School. This is for me the best job in the world. So I love this job because I get to spend every day with you guys. Uh, or I did <laughs> before quarantine. And it's so fun for me because I can learn about things along with you guys. So, for example, um, we recently learned about the solar system. This is very, very interesting for me. Uh, and it uh, led me down a very long <laughs> journey on Google about planets and things like that. So this is what I love about my job that every day is an opportunity to be happy. Uh, in the future, I hope to <laughs> be released from quarantine. I hope to go outside without a mask on. I hope to be able to go into macro without having my temperature taken. Uh, and I hope to spend more years in Uzbekistan Actually, this is such a fantastic country. And um, eventually, 
when I'm very old, I hope to retire and I hope to watch my daughter grow up. I want her to be healthy and happy and that is really my dream for the future. So this is an example autobiography uh, and I hope it was helpful for you. So I look forward to your um, videos by the end of this weekend and I'm going to post a little bit about Zoom on Monday later. Okay, great. Good luck. Have fun.